Hi there, this is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about the recent changes to the AZ204 Developing Solutions for Microsoft Azure exam. Now within the past week, as I record this video, the Microsoft has gone live with changes to this exam. Now I did talk about this before in a previous video on this channel, AZ204 March Changes. What has happened in the meantime is Microsoft has updated this study guide, the objective PDF that you can download from their website. And what they've mainly done is revised the previous version of the exam. So it must have pulled in the previous version from an incorrect source, realized it, perhaps they watched my video, and then they've now released a new PDF that has um, basically a different previous set of requirements. The other significant thing that they've done is they have added back in the conversation about blob storage as a requirement. So in the previous version, blob storage was completely blank here. You can see on the on screen, there's literally no, no space for it. But it seems like uh, that was unintentional and they've added blob storage back in. Uh, the other thing, since they were using per potentially the incorrect previous version, there were a lot of things I would have said were removed, including Cosmos DB scaling and server-side programming that don't even exist in this version. So they have um, must have been from a previous version of an exam or uh, some other incorrect source. So a lot of the things that were removed were not actually even there, and the blob storage was not removed, it was incorrectly removed. Now the things I said that were added are still generally true. So we're talking about like Cosmos DB, we're talking about the change feed, which doesn't appear in the old requirements at all. So as you go through that uh, previous video, you'll see that um, a lot of those quote unquote differences are still differences, but the things that were removed may not have been removed and blob storage is still there. So. Anyways, um, I wish Microsoft would do a better job with these PDFs to make sure that you that are A, that they're accurate, and B, that they're more clear in terms of what the differences between them are. But um, in the end, this is the exam, the uh, requirements that are listed here. And if you scroll up to the top of the document, you'll see them more listed in an easier to read fashion over here. The requirements that are here are the requirements, the AZ204 course on Udemy and in other places will be focusing on this. And so uh, this is what you should be using to study for the exam. Anyways, I thought I would give you that quick update. Thanks a lot for watching. If you are interested in Azure, if you're interested in Azure certifications, uh, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, to be notified when I have a new video that goes live. I always keep in touch with changes to the exams if you're in the process of studying, new exams that have gone live, etc. So hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot. If you want to get into a video course on the AZ204, then you can find a link to that in the description of this video. Or of course, you can use your uh, favorite search engine. Search for my AZ204 course on Udemy and you're going to find uh, my AZ204 course as being one of the first ones that will come up when you do a search here. But use the link in the description and I would love to have you as a student in my course. Anyways, that's all for now. Thanks a lot, hope you're having a great day.